also on. This is my source uh, code for my room FSM. And then I also have here my sword FSM. So then I have my input, my clock, and the reset. I have the directions as inputs. I have going for I have with sword as an input and then going for sword as an output and then I have win and die as outputs. I know we were only supposed to have two outputs, win and die, but I couldn't figure out how to show my uh state locations in the simulation waveform or in the FPGA so I ended up using a uh, output outputs uh, adding more outputs to indicate what state i am in so i have here uh, six states which is the six i mean the seven rooms zero to six um after completing this lab i've noticed that i can actually there's a better way to do this like the lab said um, i just couldn't figure it out um at the moment so next um I have my my rooms here. I have CC for give of cacophony. I have TT for twisted tunnel. I have here rapid river and all of the rooms. Yeah, here I have the to win. We have to go to victory wall or to lose grievous graveyard. Um, again, I use type def enum logic. Um, I thought is that after the labs, probably better to use a parameter, and then for my current state. The next day, uh, to use them as a wire, just state them as a logic. But I mean, I've noticed that a little too late. But for this code, um, this is what I and how I ended up doing it. Um, so here I have my state in my rooms pretty much identified in a three bit in three bits, and then um. So for to pull the values from here, as I have um, the current state and next day, which means that depending on what room I am in, it's gonna be either current state or the next day from these values here. Here I have my clock and my reset. So basically, if my clock is high, I will start. My current state is at CC, which is cave, at the cave, which is um, the very first state, which is the beginning of the game. If clock is not high, if it's zero, then I just keep you can keep on going with the game. So after the clock, the reset is set. I can start with the. With the game with the transition uh, states so at the beginning we're gonna be at CC um, if we're at CC and we hit east we're going to the twisted tunnel east for mine it, which means it's going to the right so if you hit east you're going to twist the tunnel else oh no wait uh, else you're just gonna stay at CC if you hit anything else once we're at TT let's just twist the tunnel if you hit S, which is south, you're going to Rapid River. So if you hit you hit south, you're going to Rapid River. Else, if you hit west, you're gonna go left, so you can go back to cave to the cave. If you don't hit south or west, you're just gonna stay at T team. Once you're at Rapid River, if you hit west. Right? And if you hit west. You're gonna go to the secret source stash. If you're at Rapid River, and if you hit east, you're going to the Dragon's Den. Else, you're just gonna stay here. So at SS, once you're at SS, if you hit east, you're going to the right, which is Rapid River else you're just gonna stay at SS now if you're at Dragon's Den and if you're with sword 
you're gonna go to the victory ball. If you don't have a sword, the next day it's just Grievous Graveyard. So right here is when it gets the output from the second epicent and receives it here. And it uses that output. If it's high, it's going to give you, um, it's going to allow you to, for this if statement, to, to process and you will win. If you don't have a with sword, then you're just going to lose. And here is just uh, some, we just keep you in a winning state. So EV is victory ball, which is you won. Uh, GG is Grievous Graveyard. Default state just for random input. So now I have my states here. Um, like I said, uh, I use these outputs to display them on the waveform and on the on the waveform and on the uh, FPGA board, but I now I know that it's probably a better way to do this. And basically, here's like each time you're at a state, it's gonna like give you this uh, output, set it to one. Same for TT. Once you're at this state, it's gonna set this output to one, or RR, you're gonna set this output to one. Here I'm um, at SS. It's a little different so you have the same the output to one for the led but you also have going forward one so once you're at ss your rapid river and you go to ss you will have this going forward to one and then from here it's when you go to the second fsm and i'll it's pretty similar i'm just gonna go through really fast so once you have that as an input, you go to the transition state. So over here, so like I said, uh, going for source. So from the first one, if you go to SS, you're gonna this is gonna be automatically one. So now if, from the first FSM, once you get here, if this is one, which is it is one, once you go to that room, you're gonna get a sword. If you never go to this room, um, you're just not going to have this logic here going for sword. Because once you go for sword, um, at the end here, I assigned it with sword. With the current state that has sword, meaning that this output is going to go back into the first FSM. Which is over here. Like I said, so if you go to SS, you're you're gonna automatically have a sword because you're in the room, and then the logic will turn to with sword, and the next day is victory. If you if you're um if you never go to SS, which is the secret sword stash, um, and then if you go directly from Rapid Rivers to the Dragon's Den, um, then you won't. <coughs> You won't win, you'll just go next to the next state, which is GG. Which means pretty much lose. So that's why, like, once you go here to the SS, you're automatically going for sword, meaning you won. If you have sword, if you're going for sword as one, the next stage you have sword. If you have the sword, you assign it to with sword. And then you go back over here. And then if you're here, if you're SS and then you go here, then you pretty much have the sword. Then if you never go there, like I said, uh, you're not going to win. And then I just have here um, the same, just uh, assigning DD to this output. That just indicates that to turn on LED. And for VV, uh, the same thing. I just have the LED on and the winnings, the win output. So if you come here, then my win, you will win. If you go to GG, that means pretty much you die because you don't have a sword. So to my next uh, FSM, it's pretty much uh, the same as the first one, just much smaller. I just have clock reset the same, going, going for sword input and then with sword output. 
give my two states, no sword and has sword, currency, and then I, I use currency to the next state to pull these values. Same thing as the other one, my reset, reset is high, no sword, or else reset is low, just keep on playing. So here is like I said, uh, so once you're uh, next state logic, so once you're here, like once you're in this room, we are like pretty much automatically going to have sword because going for sword is going to be one. If you never come to this room, then you're just not going to have an out. This with sword is going to be zero, meaning that you're going to lose. So pretty much here we have, if you come here, you're going to be going for sword, has sword, else uh, next state is no sword. And then here's just, uh, these are just to remain with the sword. Meaning it has sword, next day has sword, then a default value. And like I said, if you come here, you're gonna have with sword uh, equal to one. If you're not here, then with sword is just always gonna be zero. And that's pretty much it for this uh, my test bench over here. So simple test bench I have my inputs and outputs I have my instant instantiate uh, for for room FSM here then I have the same for the FSM generate a clock then just a uh, simple uh, initial begin to start inputting my values I just start as everything zero um, reset zero well, first I set my reset, which is one, which means it's going to take me to the first state. After the first state, then I start putting my inputs. Going like my directions, E1, direction S2, then W1, E1, E1. If I have all these inputs, then I should win the game. And then I hit my reset, so reset equal to one. Once I hit my reset, I start the game again. And then I will go again with the inputs. So I have input one, input two, input three. Once I have these inputs after the reset, I should have a different outcome, which is a lose game. And I can show you that in the, um, in the, in the simulation here for just this one here. 